What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be checking out the Elise's DM10 Mark II. As you can see over here, I have a bunch of boxes. So let's get to unboxing and then we can set up the kit. Let's get to that. All right, so we're going to be starting with the module first, the brain of the operation. So let's unbox. Money shot. Ugh. Would you take a look at that? So this right here is the brain of the operation. If you don't know, this basically controls the drum sounds, the sensitivity of each one of the drums. All right, so this module right here comes preloaded with 700 sounds in 50 kits to choose from with a bunch of other presets. So we'll get to see how it sounds once we finish unboxing the rest. So right here, we have two of the 10 inch drum pads, which are gonna be the two rack toms. Let's unbox them. Would you take a look at that? Wow. As you can tell, it is made with good quality and it feels good. It has three trigger zones on the head and then it has a rim shot as well on each one of the pads. So let's unbox the other one. And would you look at that? It's the same thing, but I forgot to mention there is a volume knob on the side of each one of the drums, so you could turn up and down the volume, or it could be sensitivity. I'm new to this, guys. Wow, this looks like good quality. Let's get to the rest. Bada bing, bada boom, we have a 12 inch pad, cause it comes with two floor toms, or like I'm going to do, I'm gonna make it a rack tom to mimic my acoustic kit. And as you guys can see right here, it is the same thing. Wow, it's almost like it's an electronic drum pad. This one also has the volume knob on it as well. And boy, oh boy, does it look good. It, tell them to bring out the package. Ugh. So this right here, we have the symbol, the 14 inch triple zone with ZTRS symbol. What does that mean? Don't know, don't care. Okay, so right here we have the 14 inch symbol. Um, as you guys can tell, it does look very clean and it's not like the other symbols that you would see on the Nitro Mesh Kit where it's a harder plastic and a harder rim so it's easier to break. This one actually has more of a soft cushiony rim. This also has triple zone. So that means there is a bell function, a bow function, and uh, an edge function. Also, it has a chokeability to it. You know how I like my chokeable symbols. Set aside. Here we have another one of the 14 inch triple zone with ZTRS, which I don't mean know what it even means, but let's unbox it. Boy, oh boy, would you look at that? It is the same thing. And if you take a look over here, it has a weird plug already inside of it, which I don't know what that is for, but we'll see when we set it up and get everything connected. Mm. Set aside. Boy, oh boy. Haven't seen one of these guys in a while. Another 12 inch drum pad. Let's unbox this little guy. Mm. Another very high quality drum. So here we have the 12 and the, the 12 and the 16 inch cymbals. The 12 and the 16 inch cymbals. This is going to be the ride cymbal that has the same functionality with the bell, the bow, and the edge. Also has that chokeability. So let's set this one aside and let's take a look at the 12 inch. This one is the hi-hat. This is where I heard the most complaints about this kit is the hi-hat in particular um, due to the functionality of it in the pedal and it just going from close to high and you can't get those good dynamics that you can with an acoustic hi-hat. But for me, I'm not a jazz player, so do I care? Not really. Let's set this aside. On to the next one. Time to bring me the kick pad. Uh, right here is the kick pad that I'm probably not gonna be using for that long in my personal use. So let's unbox this bad boy. Voila! Here we have the K 
kick pad, or the kick drum. Thank you, scissors. It's pretty self-explanatory. You put your drum pedals to it, and you kick it. Um, this supports double bass, as the width does support that. Um, and yeah, really not much to it. It's pretty heavy, seems durable. Set us up. Uh, so this kit does supply you with a snare stand. Pretty basic, not gonna really go over too much on this. Let's unbox it. Whoa, whoa. And as you guys can tell, I wasn't really expecting much with this snare stand, but it does seem like it is pretty good quality and pretty hefty. So, let's set that aside. Mm. All right, so let's grab that hi-hat pedal. Oh, shit. Mm. So this is what all the complaints are about right here. This bad boy does bring the reviews down on this kit and steers a lot of people away from getting this drum set, but we'll have to see the functionality and fine tune it to get the best sound possible out of it. Boop. So let's grab another one of these bad Oh, I guess this one didn't come inside of a box. Hold on. Mm. There we go, that is better. So let's unbox this 12 inch drum pad. Ah, it didn't come inside a box. Get it? As you guys can see, it's another one of these bad boys. I bet you weren't expecting another one. This one also has the same functionality as the other ones. Not gonna get into depth, because I've already talked about that. Let's set this aside. Boy oh boy, do I feel like a kid on Christmas. Here we have the lame ass accessory box. Let's unbox this bad boy, shall we? Uh. Oi, some choice. We have the Tom mounts, which is very nifty to have. We have the snake, which basically plugs into the module and into each drum and cymbal. We have another cable. We have another cable. We have a logo that we're not going to be using because I am not sponsored by Alesis. And we have the drum manual, which, boy oh boy, you guys know me, when I see a manual, out of sight, out of mind, I'm experienced. We have a bunch of cable ties that are going to come in handy with that cable management, set aside, and we have a bunch of things that I quite frankly don't even know what are. So let's take a look at these bad boys. It looks like they're a bunch of screws and mounts, they look like they're for drill bits, and we get a handy dandy drill key. A handy dandy drum key that seems to be of good quality, obviously. And we get these nifty nifty drumsticks. They're garbage, they're cheap Chinese made, as you guys can tell. Not much quality to these bad boys. That was very easy, unlike a Vic Firth stick. I would know because I've broken many sticks. Set aside. Boy. That's a lot. Tell him to bring me another package. Ah, uh, tell him to unbox the package for me. Uh, thanks, guy. Here we have the nifty drum rack. Uh, there we go. This box is fairly heavy, so I don't want to break this glass table I am currently on, but nothing really to it. A bunch of cymbal stands and a bunch of rack poles. These do seem like they are fairly high quality, like my Gibraltar rack for my other kit, so that'll be very nifty when setting up this kit. So let's get into the setup of this drum kit as we have no more packages. Scooby!
Speaking a little bit more on the module, there are so many different functionalities such as a click track to each one of the songs, also a pre-programmed metronome that you can mess with different sounds and different voices. There's also a coach mode to help you keep on time with the metronome. There's also multiple kits to choose from on the back here. You'll see there is MIDI out, USB memory, USB MIDI cable, headphones, um, an aux in, and of course the power with two add-on things which will be supplied by your Tom 4 and your Crash and also your outputs. I gotta say the biggest downfall for those is for one I wasn't very impressed with the metal preset it didn't very seem metal to me so I'd recommend getting easy drummer or superior drummer if you're going to go along the lines of getting better drums because this kit does not 
include many good sounding kits um, because they are pre-programmed and I gotta say this module isn't anything too impressive. Um, I also gotta say another downside to this kit is that if you do feel like adding on extra things to this kit, you're only gonna have two extra add-ons that are both tied into the drum kit so you're not gonna be able to add anything else onto this kit itself unless you get extenders or splitters or things like that. So overall, I do gotta say it is a solid kit just for a nice little practice kit or if you can't be too loud in your playing area. I'd recommend it, the mesh heads do feel great and the cymbals are fairly responsive. Also, I, I do gotta mention that hi-hat. It definitely does not compare to playing a acoustic hi-hat, but I would recommend giving this kit a try if you are in the intermediate to advanced level of drumming. I would not recommend it for beginners due to the fact of the price of it. And if you have any questions about this kit in particular or any suggestions, make sure to leave those in the comment below as I do respond to every single one of your guys' comments. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the like. It means the world to me. Um, and yeah, you guys have a great day. And that was the Alesis DM10 Mark II. I hope you guys did enjoy. Mm, mm, mm.